that's it, baby. You snip it out. Where is that naughty mouse? Hmm? Where is it? You okay? You want to come up and say hello? You're going to go find the mousey. Where's that mousey? Where's that mousey? Yeah. Where is it? Naughty, isn't it? You'll find it, babes. No, you can smell it. Yeah, it's been running around, wiggling everywhere, hasn't it? Naughty mouse. Yes. Come on then. You're coming up? Come on. Oh, she flabby. Ah, so, I don't know if I mentioned before, guys. My son was in his bedroom playing on his computer and I always tell him to have the door open. Hang on, I can't see you. Always time to have the door open, uh, the window open. And he was there playing, and next minute, it was quite late, well, it was just going dark. And um, he started screaming, and I thought he was saying bat, that a bat had come through his bedroom window. But it wasn't, it was a mouse. And it was scratching at his door to try and get away. Anyway, he came out, we shut the door, left the window open and hopefully that would be the end of the mouse. Now I haven't seen it anywhere and I haven't seen any mouse poo but I don't know if it's gone back out the window or not. So anyway, I borrowed the cat, Meow is here and she's having a good sniff around, I know because I was sat on the sofa the other night and I thought I saw something come from under the coffee table you know when you double look but when I looked again it gone but she's behind she's where's that mousey and she's been going in my son's um wardrobe is your mouse in the house and no you can smell it yeah weeing all over the place naughty mouseys so I just thought maybe if I brought the cat in the windows are open I'll keep the back door open as well, it might go out that way. I just don't know if it's still in the house. I haven't heard it, I haven't seen it, I haven't seen no mouse poo, I haven't seen any evidence of it, but she's just been behind the TV now and everything. So, um, we're going to keep you in here for a little bit, aren't we? Yeah, so that naughty mousey can smell you. And then hopefully the naughty mousey will just go again. Out it goes. I'm not scared of mice or anything like that. Uh, I grew up on a farm and I remember once we had nine cats. My mum would never allow cats in the house because they they were working animals and they had jobs to do and I, I melted her round and I got the cats in the house and uh, she absolutely loved them. And uh, we got a mouse in the house with nine cats and I came down one morning to the kitchen and my dad used to have scraps for everything in the kitchen or we used to have bins for scraps so for different animals the chickens and the goats and then the dog and things like that and so we had this pot with bones in for the dog from the night before and I came down and the cat had this lamb bone in his mouth and on the end of it was this mouse and they were both fighting over this lamb chop bone yeah and so they were fighting over this bone and my cat gizmo oh he was gorgeous i loved him but he was such a softy he was a tortoise shell and really fluffy like meow i put that wall there so you wouldn't sit on that chick so you come and sit on here oh you're a sneaky punch yeah he bought me a mouse once in a mouse trap. I don't know where he'd got this mouse trap from, um, but he was ever so proud and he came up the drive with it in his mouth. And this poor dead mouse in this mouse trap. That's how lazy my cat was. Uh, and my mum said I would do that if I spoilt them. And I did, absolutely rotten. She went away for a weekend with my dad. They went away and came back. No, they hadn't, they'd just gone out for the day. For a few hours came back and I got six baby lambs in the house by the Arga, keeping them nice and warm because it was cold outside. She went mad at me again. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, so right then, my son's gone to school, limping in his boot and on crutches. He's fine, he wanted to go. My dad's doing okay. And then um, I found some boxes on Facebook. So I've been to pick them up and my nephew was with me today. My nephew wants a new sofa. So I was like, right, come on, let's go to the charity shops. Because I don't know why around Christmas everybody wants a new sofa. I said, there'll be loads going now. Anyway, we haven't found anything today, but they go so quick in Cardiff. They're getting new stuff in every day. But we went to YMCA, went to British Heart Foundation, and then I found a new place called Boomerang. Oh, wow. I still think the prices in these charity shops are at the moment are a little bit expensive. Some of the stuff, you know, I was like, wow. They haven't even t tried to tidy them up. In the British Heart Foundation, they steam clean all the sofas and everything, but they hadn't even bothered doing that. And then there was this lovely three-piece, a three-seater sofa and a two-seater sofa, gorgeous, and they wanted £700 for it, and it was second-hand. And I know, I know, those kind of sofas, you can buy new for less than that, or for £700. So anyway, we'll keep looking, but I did manage to get a couple of things today. Picked up the cardboard boxes so my dad can make a start because he says he's misered and if he just had some boxes, he could start packing them slowly. Great. So I found him some boxes, he can start packing. And he was like, oh, do I need to sort it out? I was like, no, 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 because what I'll do, he can pack and then before it gets to the new house, or if I take it there, I'll chuck it. Without him knowing, he won't remember. And yeah, and that's the plan. It keeps him happy, stops him mithering, and at his head, not me, mithering himself. Um, so that's sorted. I bought a turkey for Christmas already. Me and my nephew went to Farm Foods because we needed to go up that way to get these boxes. And um, yeah, they're doing turkeys for $7.99. So I got us a frozen turkey. 3.9 kilogram turkey for 7.99 so that's in the freezer yay um don't have to worry about that now my dad keeps on saying oh we won't have a house to live in we've still got this house to live in at christmas we've still got another two months after christmas to find somewhere you know our landlord has given us and plenty of time oh there you go plenty of time so yeah Still not the contract through for the new house, but and my sister-in-law's helping me and she said the guy is away at the moment, so maybe hopefully that's what the delay is. But they've taken the house off the market, they've accepted my deposit, so fingers crossed it still goes ahead. I have been taking down my curtains and washing them. It says these are dry. Uh, what is the word? Dry clean only because the tabs at the top of them are metal and they go a little bit rusty but I don't care. I stick them in a pillowcase and I put them on a gentle wash and they're fine. I've made a hat but look at the size of it. It's absolutely huge. I don't know I must have used the wrong crochet hook or something. It's massive. And it, maybe you could use it as a slouch. Is it meant to be a slouch? The pattern didn't say slouch. Is it slouch? It's not. I don't know. You can't be there. Huh? Snuggled on my wall. You know I'm talking about you. Gorgeous girl. Buy me that mouse. Oh, you beautiful. I got your velvet cushion ready there. Huh? Not good enough for you today. I want my balls of wool. Bless her. Turn it into a tea cosy. I don't know. Right then. So when I went to this boomerang, got my turkey, brought that home with the boxes. No sofas there. What time is it now? I've got to go and get my son soon. Oh my gosh. No sofas there. And then um, my nephew asked the guy, he was like, is this it? It's not very big. He said, oh no, there's upstairs. We've got beds and everything upstairs. So we went upstairs. Oh my goodness. They had loads of lampshades. Brand new lampshades, £25 for not a chance. But there was a really nice one. 
and I think it's John Lewis the fabric and it's called Mr Fox I've got some yellow fabric with Mr Fox on it and I made a bag actually don't know where that is made a bag I've made some placemats for my uncle because he can't see very well so bright yellow fabric and this white fox so then he knows roughly he can see shades and bright colours so I made that for him and I went upstairs they got this Mr Fox lampshade and I know they're expensive it's a green one but look at it brand new brand new anyway I thought oh gosh I don't want to spend £25 on a lampshade not a chance so the guy came up and I was like, oh, how much, how much for the lampshade? And he was like, are you paying cash? I was like, yeah, he's like, three quid. It's like, bargain, yes, please, I'll take that. I said, and also found a load of fabric. So I found this gorgeous throw, like a herring bow throw. And this is Rocker. I'm sure that's John Lewis as well. Anyway, it is so soft and it's really heavy. And I thought... That is a perfect Christmas present for my dad. He would just love that. So, got a Christmas present for my dad. And then, at the moment, I'm into retro fabric. I absolutely love it. And they had a load of curtains. I'm presuming this has come all from the, the same house. And they are really old. Um, so I got this one and I thought these would make ace door curtains really thick. Or cushion covers or anything. But I got this gorgeous green one. I got this blue flowery one. I got two of these but one of them's still in the car. I haven't bought it up yet. That's a curtain. And this one, and this is a curtain as well. And these have got something on the bottom of them, and I wasn't sure what they were, but my dad said something to do with a brass wire or something at the bottom that you attach them to. I'm not sure if it's at the top of the curtain or at the bottom of the curtain. But can you see there? So, yeah, and this is really tall. And again, I thought I'd make a nice door curtain or something. They've sewn the top over to make a pole. I think they probably used it. And then I can leave the brass things on the bottom because it's quite weighty. It'll pull the fabric down. But yeah, no idea what those are. I'll have to research. Or if you guys know what they are, let me know. But I've got some gorgeous orange and yellow fabric as well they had these gorgeous gorgeous and this is really thick fabric and in this new house that hopefully we get is a like a lean to and we're hoping to have a dining room table in it and once i get it and i give you a toilet and make sure but half of it is brick and then glass and i was thinking it would need you know some nice thick heavy curtains to keep the heat in and just to make it look a bit more homely it's the original lean-to that they built with the house it's got a perspex roof so I bought it because I thought you know what if it goes if it doesn't go through, if it falls through, they'll come in handy. But I've got a few of them. I think I've got like four or five of them. I said to the guy, can I have all this fabric as well? How much for all the fabric? And he was like, tenner. I was like, oh, so tenner for the fabric and three quid for the lampshade. He was like, no, a tenner for a lot, a lot of it. It's like, ace, sold. I am so chuffed. It has been a good day. Busy day, but good. So, yeah, just a little catch up. And I know it's like the end of September now. It's beginning of October, isn't it? And people are like, oh, it's far too early. By now, I've usually finished my Christmas shopping. I 
it's all done. But with the move and everything up in arms, I um yeah, not organised whatsoever. So I am super chuffed that I got a turkey and I've got a Christmas present. Right then guys, take care and I will see you soon. Bye. I've wrapped her up in a blanket. I think she's quite camouflaged. She knows we're talking about her. But she's tired. She snores. She snores so much.